Hey guys, welcome to my video. I totally forgot to shoot an intro, but basically I'm just showing you here how I started my face makeup. I used the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Natural Medium, and I basically just took it in different areas of my face, and I used this foundation brush, I guess you would call it, and I just blended it all over my face as if it was a foundation. Now my key is that I only use a little bit, and I only use it in certain areas of my face, like under my under eyes, anywhere that I had redness, anywhere that I had any imperfection, and then I just blended it into my skin because the color is pretty much my skin once it's blended in. I feel like this product is my holy grail because I can wear it and my face just instantly looks made up and just clear of any lines and puffiness and I think it looks really natural. After finishing the base of my face, I take this really fluffy brush and I go in for some contouring. Now I don't really contour heavily, I just kind of add some color here and there to bronze up my face and add some definition. I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer, I think it's a great color, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it just adds a really nice warmth to your face. So after warming up the face, I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This thing cost me like probably $5 and it's amazing. I went in with the same brush and I took the pink and gold area to do my blush and I kind of went over that bronzing area as well to just add some shine and illumination like the palette says. It's really versatile and you can do a lot with it. So after applying the blush, I went in with the same brush and I took that highlighting part and I put it right on top of my blush. It shows a natural glow in your face without being really shiny or looking like a unicorn, but I think it's really nice and natural looking. Then I went in with the stippling brush and this is also from e.l.f. I'll link all of the brushes down below. And that just helps to really just blend everything together and make it look seamless. Then I went in with my Holy Grail eyebrow product and I moved the camera a little bit because I was having lighting issues since it was so early in the morning. And I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. And this thing just really, really does wonders. This is my first time filming a makeup tutorial so it was a little bit difficult to get everything in the shot but basically I just fill in the sparse areas of my eyebrow anywhere where hair is missing or anywhere where it doesn't look full and I just go ahead and draw that in with the pencil and then the brush just helps it just kind of blend in to your skin. The smaller the strokes you do the better because it'll look like hair I guess you could say it looks like little follicles but you can really tell the difference once I'm finished um, how great this product is. After brows, I move on to my eyeshadow and I take this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Trio in Walking on Eggshells and I go in with the crease color. It's labeled for you so it can't get any easier than that, which is like a transition kind of color and it's a little darker. And I just go into my crease and I lightly just blend, blend, blend and just get it looking how I'm liking it just to add some color and kind of a transition between your lid and your brow bone and it just really makes all the difference in your look. Then I go in with the eyelid color and I just put it over top of my eyelids and then I go in with the brow bone color and I highlight the inner corners of my eye and my brow bone. It really just adds that brightness and highlight in those areas that make you look more awake. Then I moved on to mascara. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I actually didn't like this mascara for a long time, but I guess maybe with my pregnancy hormones, my eyelashes are reacting to it differently. I have no idea. But it's really great. It 
clumps up your lashes. It kind of clumps a little bit, but if you're looking for fullness and a little bit of length, this is a great mascara for that. So that's it. I mean, this is like the easiest look possible. I have little, I have very little makeup on, but I look so much more awake than I did in the beginning. Um, at this point, I would just put on some lipstick and then I'd be done. So I'm gonna show you the lipstick that I've been using lately and that I really like. I'm absolutely in love with the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. This one is Nude Nuance, and I'm pretty much known for wearing Divine Wine and Nude Nuance all the time because they are my holy grail. Colors and lipsticks, I mean, these things last like a liquid lipstick, but they don't look chalky or dry or crusty. They feel great. That's it. That's my makeup look. Sorry for all the lighting issues. I was in the bathroom and it, the sun started coming out. But yeah, I literally took 10 minutes to do this look. Um, it's really easy. I keep it all on this little pouch. It's really small and it fits in my purse really easily. This is like something that I would take with me anywhere. Like, you never know where you're going. If you need to spruce up a little bit, you want to look more awake, then this is really great for that. I think it's good to always have like a little go-to makeup bag so that you can always achieve this easy look. I hope you enjoyed this easy makeup look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Bye!